here iPhone or this minus and greater than symbol this means uh, it is like a type of type converting it is mapping from one data type to another uh, for example here we are defining key map agent to public key public key data type okay and uh, another one is equal to pipe greater than this is a single symbol and it is like immediate transition uh, it is like a okay here we see example if rcv uh, if we receive some x then we are performing this send operation like this is the, uh, it is like a then operator if we got this then we have to perform this okay and uh, this open curly brace and close curly brace it is uh, it is set a delimiter that is in knowledge declaration uh, in HLPSL we have to define some parameters of intruder knowledge in that time we are using this curly braces uh, and uh, open brace close brace and underscore it is uh, used for encryption or signature signature of the message uh, here for example here x is the message and we are encrypting this x message with the using key key okay here k is the key and x is the message and we are encrypting the x using k and we are sending this message to uh, receiver and next open parenthesis close parenthesis it is used to indicate the argument of the function uh, send or receive statement or role okay uh, in uh, for example here we are uh, defining Alice parameters in this open parenthesis and close parenthesis and another keyword is accept uh, accept is used in sequential composition to indicate when a role is finished and the new role can begin okay here we are uh, declaring accept and we are writing some statements and agent here in HLPSL uh, all roles are uh, users are defined by uh, data type for agents okay. uh, for example uh, if we have Alice and Bob then Alice is an agent and Bob is also agent and bool uh, bool is a data type for boolean values and uh, next one channel in parenthesis dy uh, here dy is stands for dolly we have uh, it is a ty uh, one type of channel and this is a data type of channel okay and uh, hlpsl is currently supports for daily we have channels okay and composition composition is used to mark the beginning of composition section of a compost rule uh, we are go in next videos we are going to see detailed explanation of composition okay uh, for now just remember composition is a keyword okay and cons it is uh, cons is used for the add element to the set for example this is a cons is a set here we are uh, cons is a uh, here we are adding x to the l using cons keyword and uh, there is another keyword uh, that is const c o n s t that is used for the different constant variables okay and another next one is def equal to uh, it is used to uh, it is like definition and it is used to indicate beginning of a body of a role in every role we have to defend some um, we have to defend body that we can define with difficult and next keyword is delete uh, delete here we are inserting element using cons and here we are deleting uh, element from the set using delete element okay like this example l prime equal to delete of x comma l and next one is end roll okay uh, it, uh, end roll is used for the declaring that this role is ended it is indicates that role is ended okay and next one is exp exp is a exponential operator prefix like this exp g comma x that means it is represents g to the power of x okay 
and hash underscore func it is a data type of the one way function uh, we already know this uh, hash functions like md5 sha1 sha256 these all are the hash functions and i i is the intruder's identity and uh, next keyword in uh, in is used for the check the element is present in the list or not for like this in x comma l if uh, you are defining some elements if this element is present in list or not and the next one is init init is uh, stands for initialization uh, init is mainly used for uh, mainly used in roles for initialization of the local variables like this init is a section it contain local variable declare or initialization here we are initializing zero state with zero and this is the initialization operator and next keyword is a inv INV stands for inverse of a key um, it is like a if ka is a public key then inverse of ka is a written as a private key okay and if we pass env the private key then it will return the public key okay uh, it converts public key to private key private key to the public key and another one is a intruder knowledge it defines the knowledge of the intruder uh, for example intruder knowledge equal to a comma k a i here uh, we are mentioning intruder uh, knows this messages or this keys okay and uh, next one is local here local uh, local also defined in roles and local is used to variable declaration okay uh, here for example in local section we are declaring state as a natural number okay and uh, next next is a message message is also keyword and it is like a general type of message contents uh, it is it is like a message any type of message and nat we already know nat is a natural number it is a data type for natural numbers and not uh, it is logical negation like uh, it tells if element is not present in the list this is an example not in x comma l and next keyword is the owns owns is the uh, owns stands for the ownership of a variable if a role owns a variable only this role may change the value of the role that means uh, for example in role alice we return owns x that uh, this means is only x value changed by the alice and no one can else change this x value it is like a uh, it is only uh, owns to the um, owns to the this role who defines this variable and next keyword is played by uh, this for the basic roles uh, in basic uh, in basic roles we are def uh, played by is like a alias type here uh, we define some role alice and this role is played by the a okay specifies which agent is playing this role and next one is a public key public key is a data type of for public keys and next keyword is the request uh, request is used for the check the strong authentication um, in goals we have two types of goals one is authentication and then another one is the secrecy of the key and authentication is the two types one is the strong authentication and another one is the weak authentication for checking the strong authentication we use the request keyword for example request a comma b it is a sender receiver and this is a key and this is a nonce okay and a secret secret is used for the check secrecy of the secret key for example secret and this is the key between a comma b and set we already know set is a uh, collection of elements collection of unique elements okay uh, it is a data type for unordered collection of type values uh, for example local yes it is a text set 
and here we are initializing S with the open curly braces and next to keyword is a symmetric key uh, in keys there are two types of keys one is a symmetric key and the one is a symmetric key symmetric key is a uh, single key that is used for the uh, encrypting and decrypting messages between sender and receiver and in asymmetric keys we have two keys one is a public key and another one is a private key uh, any one of mes uh, keys is for the encryption and decryption uh, if we encrypt the message with public key then we can decrypt the message with the private key and vice versa and next key what is a text uh, here text is a data type that is contain all uh, uninterruptible uninter uninterrupted bit strings like nonce and next is the transition uh, transition marks beginning of transition section of a basic role uh, in next video in roles uh, we clear uh, I try to clearly explain this transition and next one is the witness witness is used to check the authentication together with request here request is used to the strong authentication and witness is also used for the authentication and uh, w request w request is used for the check the weak authentication together with witness uh, this is the syntax for the w request and next one is a xr we already know xr operator uh, this is a prefix xr operator here uh, we are passing a comma b that means it will return uh, first it will perform the xr operation between a comma b and it will return the value okay and these are the keywords uh, next we see structure of HLPSL specification HLPSL is contain uh, three parts one is a definition of roles for example here yeah, specification of HLPS contain role definitions and next goal declaration in goal declaration we declare this uh, check authentication check weak authentication and uh, check secrecy of the key like this and next we call the instantiation role uh, that is a main role uh, in many programs we write environment environment is our main function we first we call them environment and environment uh, in environment function we call the session functions in session functions we call the roles okay and this goal is used for the check the authentication secrecy of the keys okay uh, thanks for watching please like our video and subscribe our channel to support us and comment on below if you get any problem thank you